Many thanks for making time for us. I'm Doreen Arange. Lucy Mora is our sign language interpreter. And my name is John Jacob Curia. Let's begin with a top story tonight where um, the government has dropped the requirement for upfront payment for patients visiting hospitals and uh, the social health authority share and are unemployed. This was revealed by Medical Services Principal Secretary Haruki Mutai, who says the decision will allow for smoother implementation, even as he disclosed they have set up a multi-sectoral committee comprising of national and county government officials to fast track the process of addressing challenges in implementation of the health fund. At the same time, he says... They have registered 13.3 million Kenyans on the platform and released 4.5 billion shillings to cater for medical bills under the program. Kastichana Masha with the details. The Ministry of Health says implementation of the Social Health Insurance Fund is on course and they have put in place a multi-sectoral team comprising of health CECs, ministry officials and Nyumbakumi officials to fast track implementation of these Kenyans to register on the platform. This team is also going to form at what's called the technical uh, committee within the counties that will include the ICT officers, the technicians from the service providers and uh, the officers from the social health authority where they will ensure that they will visit each and every facility and ensure that citizens are receiving services under the social health authority. Principal Secretary for Medical Services, Hari Kimutai, issuing an update on Wednesday, said the government has so far released funds to cater for medical bills of patients and more funds will be released next week. We have released 4.5 billion last week and the Facilities can confirm that, that if they have received payments. This week we are releasing another 4.5 billion Kenya shillings and that will make a total of 9 billion Kenya shillings that will be released for payment or debts that are we owe these facilities. Additionally, Kimutai revealed the government had removed the requirement for upfront payment for those who registered under SHAH and are unemployed until the ministry gets an insurance premium financing model. And once the insurance premium financing model is ready, then we'll urge them now to pay their uh, premiums upfront based on the financing agreement they will enter with either the cooperative societies, the SACOs, or some of the financial institutions who are coming in to support us in the rollout of SHA. Kimutai urged contracted facilities to comply with the authorities' regulations or risk termination of contracts. Contracted under SHA, they should be able to provide services under SHA, not demand upfront payment where the citizens who have registered under SHA and paid their premiums are denied services and told to pay upfront. That is where we are differing with those facilities. The government rolled out the new health financing model on 1st of October in which those in employment contribute 2.75% of their gross pay to the kitty. Kasichana Masha, Prime Edition.